Good afternoon, ladies. Hello, and welcome back to the Midlife Conversation. Look who's returned. I've returned. I've booted Lucy off the sofa. <laughs> yeah. Because she was looking too good. <laughs> I don't think I liked it. No, I mean, that was a little bit too youthful as far as I I know. I mean, thought, gosh, she's looking well. That appetite <laughs> drifted in the world are good. Albeit she's come back. Me years younger, mm, exactly, and a different colour, exactly. Hair. But <laughs> look how well she looks. Yeah, thanks, she looks really lovely. Yeah, I had a good time, really mm. lovely. Thank you. Got this out there as well. Yeah, yeah. it's very attractive. Yeah, so while she was away sunning herself and doing all those wonderful things, I was it was foot to the grindstone for me. But talking of foot to the grindstone, I am going to, as promised today. Do a makeover on Karen. And I'm going to be the guinea pig. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. With a little bit less fur. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, hopefully show all you ladies how easy this is and how beautiful I can make Karen <laughs> hey, look. Oh. <laughs> so just to say quickly, if your lights dip, in the area that you're in, I've started the mixer up outside for when I do a makeup in about five minutes. Right, so all I've got is my eyeshadow on. This is just me. Yeah, this is au natural. Because <laughs> when you've got, yeah, but look at her wonderful bone structure. I mean, chiseled or what? I don't know how this can improve on that. <laughs> but hey, Nini Nay, <laughs> no, we're going to like Donatella, what's her name? Versace. Versace. No, she's going to like Coco the Clown I said it last time. I've been in touch with the local fair that's uh, visiting. They've got a circus section. She's going in there. Nice. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Without further ado, so I'm going to... Do you remember I was telling you about all my brushes? I'm going to start. Now, here we have the six colours in the palette and they're all powder. And I want that one, that one, <laughs> yeah. that one. I don't actually think there is enough in here for Karen. <laughs> but we just have to make do with what we've got. Yeah. Now, Karen's already put on her tinted moisturiser, um, which obviously we build up on. What I do next is... <laughs> the cement mixer start here. Yeah. Paul, turn it on now, please. It'll come in, but what? what? <laughs> now, what we like to do is this middle colour here, we use a nice little brush, or you might have a sharp edged brush that you might use for eyebrows, but something with a thin top. What we do is we create a shadow, so slightly under the lip to give you more of a pouty look. It tickles. Not a lot, obviously. You don't like your painting on a moustache. <laughs> <laughs> and the next one is to streamline the nose. I mean, Karen's got a really narrow nose anyway, but I think all this does is you put it on really lightly. Some people, um, they've got a broader nose, like myself. So this, this actually, what you do is you even bring it, but you won't believe how you don't even see that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just um, move around the outside of Karen's face with these two colours. It's a mixture of these two. This is what I use, the two darker tones. I put them together. I um, get rid of any of the excess powder. And then I literally, I brush it around the edge of her forehead. I come down <laughs> around the jawline, obviously blending in as you go around. The whiskers. <laughs> Don't actually put it on your cheekbones at this point. You can rub it in underneath slightly to create a shadowing effect. And obviously, I've probably done that, I don't want to lie, because obviously you feel it on her all day long. Um, but <laughs> do you see that? <laughs> I don't. So what I've done, girls, is I've got a brush. This is the kind of brush it is. I mean, you might use a brush like this for your blusher. I've gone into the middle one, a nice amount on, blow it off, and I've now 
I've chiseled in Karen's cheekbones. Don't panic, it's going to be blended, but this is what you do. So that's that side. See, Karen's got such beautifully high cheekbones that she actually could get this effect without even doing this, in all honesty. But <laughs> the effect that you get overall is so wonderful. Let me have a look, darling. Lovely. We'll be blending these shortly. Okay, so that's that. Can you see the transformation? It's happening. That's that. There they are. So now what I'm going to do is I've chiselled out her cheekbones. As you can see, I've created a shadow on her jawline and around the edge of her face because what that does is it kind of centralises everything. And now I'm going to blend. This is the really important part. Why? <laughs> because what this does is it completely creates a more even shadow. Obviously, I am going to put some blusher on Karen as well. Um, so it's always important to make sure that when you blend it in, you go up into the temple as well. Right, now look. That chisel, that really... If you look at it from the other side, I've blended it in from that to this. A good I like the way you're turning my head. <laughs> right, I'm now, a mannequin. A little look-see. Beautiful. Now, how we finish this off... Oh, <laughs> yeah. is a hood all over Paint don't the bag. Here. Um, I've got another little brush here it's a little brush like that yeah. and this is for her beautiful I'm sleepy now. this is for the beautiful highlighting <laughs> of her nice. gorgeous cheekbones do I pout? yes darling, pout this is where I'm going to get told off by Tilly because she said older people that pout don't look right oh dear you can never be too old to have a bit of a pout, can you? Because when she's doing her selfies, they all go, <laughs> Oh no. I did it and she went, Mum, that looks awful. Thanks, Dilly. Right. And then just a little bit up here. Rub that down. Excess, it's a highlighter. A little bit on your chin. And that is this one. You can you can work out which one it is because it's this little shimmery one here. It's a shame they haven't got underneath what they actually do. I know. It is, but Anastasia, but work I, on it. I think that's because you probably find there's a lot of people out there that would probably use this palette and the colours also in a different order. Mm -hmm. But this is the order that I use and, I, and it looks like, and I think it's got a lovely natural look as well. Um, and to finish it off, or the one before the finish, a little bit of blusher. Now Karen and I use the same blusher. This is a MAC. Uh, it's a cream blusher and it's called Something Special. It's a really beautiful... Aww, that's because we are. <laughs> it's a peachy pink colour so you've got the best of both worlds really. I just want to say though, my face doesn't feel heavy with powder or anything. No. It doesn't feel as if I've got anything on. I've actually put the blusher on her now. Um, so I'm not going to reapply more because I don't want it to, you know, glow. <laughs> well, you do because you said I was going to go into the surface this afternoon. Look, Coco, okay. <laughs> stop making arguments. Coco okay, Chanel, darling, <laughs> yeah. not Coco. So oh. I've, I've put this lovely cream blusher up on the top of her cheekbones. And obviously I've already put the highlighter on. So that's that. And then to finish it off, last but definitely not least. Now, bearing in mind, not everybody... A lot of people would finish with their makeup um, with just that amount on, but this is a Sizzly. Um, it's called a bronzing gel powder. It's brilliant. It's lasted me a year and it's still, look. Gel. That's a gel powder. It's fantastic. And, and it's natural. So you could actually, if you were going on holiday and you were going around the pool, you could put that on and it wouldn't even uh, congeal with your sun cream. Not that I do that, I'm just saying. So... <laughs> A nice little flat Look. brush like that. And let's just finish her off, ladies. Lipstick to finish. Oh, cool. So I haven't looked at my face. God, I'm gorgeous. <laughs> yeah. I could have missed no, I'm actually really pleased. It looks very natural mm. and it feels nice. It doesn't, mm. like I said, it doesn't feel heavy. And it's... But also, I think that the brilliant thing with that palette is that you can apply it for daytime wear 
or evening. And because of the powders and the buffing technique, you can, if you put it on, you think that's a bit heavy. All you have to do is blend it right in, and then it, yeah. it kind of blends well, it's in. It's experimenting, isn't yeah, it, as exactly. well? So I feel really pleased with what, what Teresa's yeah. done to me. Thank, Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. So I hope you've enjoyed this upload, and until next time, see you soon. Great, and have a brilliant week. Yeah. Take Bye. care, girls. Bye. Bye.